create those experiences, those opportunities on and off the pitch that one, they remember, two, they can learn from and two, they can move forward with um, and work from that kind of thing. So really, really important that we support and try and support players as much as we can on and off the pitch um, with their little journey and be a part of it. Over the past 10 years, this club has made me the player I am. I mean, coaches from under nines right up until Carts and Joe now have gave me support, whether it's on, off the pitch, with school, anything. I think they've always been there for me and supported me, especially in football. Like I said before, I am the player I am because of this club and obviously I'm forever grateful for all of the coaches who I've met along my career. We all go above and beyond. Um, so it doesn't matter what the role is, that every member of staff will go above and beyond for any player. Um, for, this, for the club, for themselves, and push themselves to progress. Um, that way, in that region, it creates a really good environment, um, really good relationships, open relationships between players, staff, a bit of honesty, backwards and forwards. Um, that allows people and players to sort of be themselves, um, show who they are and their personalities come out in training and games. At the end of the day, they're giving up their time to help us as well like Saturday mornings, like driving to Milton Keynes, Everton, everywhere and back. So you've got to give them credit because they've helped us get where we are now. Liam, who's the 21s coach at the minute, I think he was there like right at the start of my journey um, at like under 11. Same with Paul Cowie, I think. They see me right at my younger ages when I was eight and nine and to still have them here now and see me how far I've progressed, it's, it's like a good feeling to know that they've been there from the start, so both of them 100% and then obviously Carts and obviously Joe now, I think Carts gave me my opportunity for my first start, my debut and everything, so I'm always forever grateful of him and what he's done for me. Yeah, I think it's like really beneficial, he's very driven, he knows a lot about the game, he's got experience both boys and girls football and I think knowing that he's coached the likes of me, Abby, Gemma coming through, the girls will then trust what he's saying and progress as well. It's, it's vital for, for Paul, Liam and myself to regularly uh, communicate and speak on um, where players are at, you know, who's doing well, who deserves potentially a chance um, at, at first team level, um, who do you know, myself and Joe need to, to be looking at uh, and, and who's potentially next in line. Yeah, I think it's my home club. I think somewhere everyone wants to be. If you grow up in Birmingham, you want to represent the bad, represent your team. Um, I think, for me personally, I think the pathway here is amazing. Like from under nines to first team, like it proves that it works and you can be successful. I think just the environment around Birmingham, like everyone knows it's a family friendly club, like Blues is our family. And also I think like going through the pathway, there's always a clear aim for the first team and you just like set that target from dart at under nine, so it's really helpful. The drive is how we can help them to become who they want to be at the end of the day. Um, our progression's gone from gone through the roof in the probably the last two to three years with the players. Again, commitment from this lot of being around it. I think that helps that you have continuity of a lot of players that have stayed with the club, committed to the club. Um, and been here for nine years and they know each other. I think the opportunities at the time, they weren't as big as they are now. I think definitely as I've got older, the opportunities have got bigger and I think that's something that's worked and helped in my favour. Um, but I did, I did think it was possible, but I don't think it would have been possible without this club, to be fair. When I was younger, I only had the option to join a boys team if I wanted to play because there wasn't a girls team until I was a little bit older. So the fact now that young girls can go straight into a girls team and develop with them and enjoy it with their friends, I think it's really nice to see. As you say, most of um, the players we mentioned there have been in the pathway for a long time now, since you know they were little babies, if you like, um, and they've all played together, they've all seen each other's progression, um, supported each other along the way, and, and to see them interact now, you know, day to day in a first team environment, um, is great because you know they've all been a big, big part of each other's journeys. The academy's gone from strength to strength. The academy league, and since I've come into the role, um, the every single game's a, a test. There's challenges within it. Um, the speed of the game. It's getting closer to first team football, which allows players then to bridge the gap a little bit quicker. Um, which has shown with how many of ours have gone training one with first team, 
made first team opportunities, but I think that's down to the standard of the women's game in general. I think it's progressed massively, like the chances that the girls are getting now compared to when I was younger is massive, like we never used to have this many younger girls training up and the environment for the 21s now, like being just next door to us, it's really helpful for the staff and for them just coming over to help us out. When you're out injured, you just want to play again and to know you can go straight into a high level which will then prepare you back to first team football, it's really helpful. I think it's something that is, makes the gap a lot smaller and helps people, I think, someone to look up to on the pitch, whether it's during the game, whether it's before the game, I think you can take little snippets of what they do and try and make yourself that player like they are, like they're where we, everyone at the academy wants to be. This is the next step, so I think speaking to them and having them there is the best thing ever. I think I used it when I was here. I remember when I was 15 playing for the 21s, Gemma Lawley and speaking to me and helping me. I think it's what every, what, always what you want. It makes my job a whole lot easier, um, I think from even a recruitment standpoint, um, if you know that you're uh, regularly and consistently creating and producing players um, of that standard and that calibre that can come and affect the first team, um, then you know you don't have to go and look elsewhere. Um, so it certainly makes my job a lot easier, but ultimately as well, um, there is there's just a sense of pride when you, you do have your, your own youngsters coming through and. Um, making their first team debut, staying in the first team, impacting the first team in a real positive way. Uh, it just does feel, uh, gives a, a real feel good factor for everybody involved. Um, so yeah, from that standpoint, you know, it's, um, it, it's great, as I say, for, for a manager. Replacing number 12, please show your appreciation for Lee Smith. Uh, a big welcome, please. So number 36, Luan That's what we're here for, is to push every player to the top of where they can be. Um, and to see the players that you just mentioned there just actually creating opportunities for themselves in that first team environment, um, gaining minutes in first team fixtures, is what we've spoke about. Again, it's sort of creating an environment where they feel comfortable to express themselves that's what they've done on the pitch, which then has showed the opportunity and allowed the opportunity for Darren, uh, Joe, Tony, the staff, to actually bring them in um, and, again, them be themselves when they're up there and show what they can do. I think there's no, you know, uh, no better feeling than seeing a young player um, make their debut, you know, because I was there once um, at this football club and I know how much it means to especially the local ones um, and those who are, are Blues fans uh, like your AJs and Lilies. So, um, yeah, I think it, it's you do as a, as a, as a manager, um, you know, seeing their reaction when you tell them that they're playing, you know, and then their family coming in and supporting them. Um, it is, it's, it's one of the best things I think of, of being a manager. So, um, and then seeing them excel and, and seeing them go and take that opportunity um, and enjoy it. Substitution for Birmingham City coming on, number 27, Alan Jenner. She'll be replacing number 37. I think it was a surreal moment, like it's not, I genuinely didn't expect it to be so early on. I think when I, when Carts called me to come on, I was, my heart was racing. I was like, this is my moment, like my last 10 years at the club have come to this. And I think it was an amazing day. And, do you know what, I thought I did well when I came on and it was the best thing ever, I couldn't believe it, like, I was lost for words and I think my family as well, they were all so proud of me and I had my dad and sister watching and I think it was the best thing ever, it's all that all of my family have put in it was for that moment and it was an amazing moment. As you mentioned, the, the Huddersfield game was great, we had Delphi on there as well, um, who came on in that game, who um, again has made great strides this year, uh, has as AJ, you know, Layla's been in around it with us as well now. Obviously Abby Carey signing her deal. Um, Lily Simkin getting back fit and, and you know for the first time in a long time has been great to see. Gemma, you know, he's Gemma. Um, you know, she'll consistently give you a level of performance. Um, so yeah, we've also had Bethan McGowan as well who's been uh, training with us regularly. So it's great, you know, Lucy Jones um, has, has obviously stepped up um, and since Fran Stenson has obviously gone back and or gone back out on loan, um, she stepped into the number two role. So, yeah, it's represented, you know, representation of the academy all over our first team um, in every position. So um, it's, it's very, very nice, yeah. 
a massive highlight which happened the other week was in the Huddersfield game when our back four ended up being Layla, me, Gemma and Abby. I think for the little girls from the RTC watching that should be really inspirational for them because it shows there is a clear pathway. Yeah, I think being 17 and being trusted to start in a game, especially the league games, even the cup games where I played the 120 minutes, it's, it only grows your confidence, I think. It makes you more confident in yourself as a player and as a person that they trust you and they believe that you're good enough to be at the level of championship players of people who I've watched when I was younger. I think to, to know that they can put me on and give a good performance against them, it's like really good, really good for me. And I think from where I've come from to here, it's like huge. It's unbelievable. It's almost like dream come true. Um, I think the challenge for us is how many more can we get? Um, it's brilliant when a player goes up and gets those opportunities, signs a pro deal, you know they're in full-time training, um, it's their job kind of thing and that's what they've dreamt of from when they're little. Um, so yeah, extremely proud as a group of staff and people and then probably drives us more to go, how many more, who's next, um, can we help and get into those sort of opportunities.